Okay, when we talk about a low single leg, the, you know, there's no question. We're talking about penetrating below the knee. You know, one thing that you want to understand is that anytime you're penetrating to your knees, I mean, you better be in good position because it's a, it's easy for somebody to go around you. It's easy for somebody to score from a, from a defensive standpoint. So um, it's real important that you, you you technically get really sound at a low single leg before you start using it and, and building confidence with it. So I'm going to focus on splitting my man half 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 the body outside. Okay. Um, don't have to have this, but what I mean by splitting the man is that the leg I want to attack, okay, which is going to be Zach's left leg, I kind of want to split his body here, meaning that half my body is to the outside and penetrating from here. I'll come back and cover a couple setups. There isn't a lot of setups to a low single leg. Um, just from the standpoint of because it is. It's from a, it's a shot from distance. So when we break down here, I say I like to palm his head. That's about where I'm at. Now I'm, I just say that's the comfortable position. Now of course I'm not doing this in a match. My hands are here, okay. But but this is the distance normally I want I, I want to hit a little single leg from. And and when when you're hitting something from a distance, it really kind of minimizes the number of setups that you can have. So there's a lot of instinct to this. Is what is this? What, where does this guy's foot go when I jab fake and do those type of things? I just got to build that instinct in me when to take the shot. You know, it's a little bit hard to explain unless you put a lot of hours into hitting, uh, practicing a little single leg. But let's just get into the basic skill, okay? One of the things I want to focus on is when I penetrate to a low single leg is that I change levels, okay? I don't want to shoot down at this shot. I want to shoot straight in. And one of the things that, that's real important is that we're trying to snatch that ankle. I'm reaching out at, that, at the far ankle when I'm penetrating to it. I'm not shooting my body to it, but I'm reaching out. So when I take the shot here, I'm reaching. Okay, I've got post hand, which is my left hand, my tack hand, my right hand. I'm reaching and catching the heel. Okay, I'm not trying to blow through this shin and, and drop him straight to the mat. The action will come to me. Okay, so I'm planting here, I'm attacking here. Right knee, because I'm a right leg lead, is directly underneath my chest. Okay, and I'm looking to feed myself right into that knee. Forehead to the knee, just the side of my forehead is coming to the inside of that knee. Okay, right here. Forearm parallel to that foot, elbow stays down. I start lifting up, I start getting above the knee. This is technically can be a, you know, one of the worst things that you do is when you get to the leg, you start building up, okay? I want to stay down on the leg. I want to stay down with this finish, okay? So from this position, post hands up. I'm bringing my trail leg up and planting it, okay? I want to make sure that my knee's not pointing up, that my knee's down. And as I, as I finish this, all I'm doing is using my head. I'm not trying to sweep this ankle out with this hand. I'm just caving him in over this shot right here, putting him down, using my head, okay? Over the top, okay? I can build up in between the legs, look for turks, I can look for halves, I can do a lot of things, or I can just score a takedown, okay? I think that you get into the pins and you get into the turns on this is how your opponent is going to react. Is he going to stay with me? Is he, going to st is he going to just belly out, or is he going to stay over the top, try to drape over me a little bit today, try to find an ankle, try to grab around my waist, try to slow me down a little bit? So I think the key here is that your turns will come in how aggressive he is uh, as far as trying to, to avoid getting taken down. Okay, so again, when I'm in this position, as I penetrate, okay, change the levels, penetrate, reach. Okay, trail legs coming up, and as I'm dumping here, okay, I'm looking to cover this other side, grabbing the leg or posting. Now I like to keep my head in the in in until I finish this shot. I don't want to pop my head up too quick, okay? Because if he starts to reach around my waist, okay, and he's trying to scramble with me here, I'll pop my head up, okay, and then I'll start looking for hats, all right, or Turks. Or positions like that so 
The technique, a little single leg, there's been many times I, I've seen over and over the years, and especially when I was wrestling, I, I turned a two-point two takedown into a five-point turn or possibly in a pin. So when when, uh, when you're focused on these low single legs and then the finishes, remember that if people are going to hang on to you and try to avoid the takedown, try to catch a leg, try to wrap around your waist, remember that you got a chance to turn a two-point takedown into a five-point move or a pin.